How to ship pallets to Amazon. If you're an Amazon FBA seller and you keep sending your shipments to Amazon FBA warehouse, then at some time this thing might came in your mind that why I am sending the cartons where I am having the pallet option. So what is pallet? How you can ship your Amazon FBA goods in the form of pallets? Why you need pallets if you are having the carton option? And which scenario is efficient for us to send in pallets? And which is efficient for cartons? So all the information regarding this you will get step by step in this video. So keep on watching this video till the end so you can clear all of your confusion about cartons and pallets so you will be able to know that what is the efficient way for you to send your shipments to Amazon FBA so you can save your money and time in sending your Amazon FBA shipments. So as you can see that this is my one week sales and if I put the filter for past one year and click on apply so you can see that this is my one year sales. You can see that throughout the year I got consistent sales and my sales actually increased in December which was Christmas season. So around 150k was the revenue and a cool thing about this is that the PPC spend was very less for the lifetime. So basically I don't do any magic, I only use common sense and use some tips and tricks which I have already explained you in these videos. So if you also want to learn all of those tips, tricks and strategies, you can just go on my Amazon playlist on YouTube and learn all the tips for free just to get the revenue like this. Alright guys, so as you can see here, I'm on Google now and here I've just searched pallet size. Because if we want to understand the difference between the pallet and the carton, then we must need to understand what is pallet and what is the pallet size. So pallet is basically a wooden thing like this in which we can just arrange carton. So for example, if you're sending a one product and having less units like uh, maybe 100, 500 or 1000 units and there are total of 10, 20 or 30 cartons. So that shipment will be less. But for example, in other case, you are sending thousands of units of your product to Amazon FBA warehouse and there can be 100, 200 or 300 cartons. So in that way, it will be too much hectic for you or your supplier to arrange all of those cartons into a truck or into a van. So in the second case where we are having many cartons, so in that case, we need to take the help of pallets to arrange the carton. So that will be a three step process like units, cartons and pallets. So units are arranged into the cartons and cartons are arranged into the pallets and then pallets are arranged into a truck. So if you're sending small parcel deliveries, then you can just use SPD. But if your inventory is large, then you must need to use pallets. So first let's understand what is pallet, how we can use it. And then I'll take you to the Amazon seller center and show you how you can actually create the Amazon FBA pallet shipment and how you can give the pallet information to Amazon and generate pallet labels. So here you can see that there are different kinds of pallets. If we go down, we can see this size guide. You can see there are multiple sizes of pallets like micro pallet, quarter pallet, half pallet, and full pallet. So for example, if you're having four boxes, so you can just arrange them into a cubicle way. But if you're having eight cartons, so you can arrange them like four cartons below and four cartons up. So that will be eight cartons. But then if you add further four cartons at the top, so that will be 12 cartons. So in that way, you can just select the size of your palette as per your carton. So for example, if you go on Google and type palette dimensions, so here you can see that the standard palette is 48 inch by 40 inch. So for example, if you're having your inventory at your home or your supply warehouse, so you can just measure the dimension of those cartons and then you can just make a combination. Like how many of your cartons will be fitted into this dimension like 48 by 40 inch. So for example, your carton length is 10 inch. That means you can just arrange four cartons into a palette like this and four cartons into a palette like this, like in vertically and in horizontally. So you'll get the answer of this question only when you measure the dimension of your cartons by yourself and then you try to fit your carton into a palette. So after doing this work, you will be able to know that how many of your carton will be fit into a one palette. So for example, after calculation, you get the answer that there will be total of 10 carton into one palette so if you have 50 cartons, then you need 5 pallets to send those 50 cartons. So to create the LTL shipment for Amazon product, in order to send your inventory in terms of pallets, you just need to go on Amazon, go on manage inventory and then select the product you want to send. And then click on this menu and click on send a manage inventory. And from here, you need to select the product and select the boxes. So for example, we are having 10 boxes in one pallet and we want to send 50 boxes. So we need to type here 50 and click on ready to send. So for example, in this case, if we are having 10 boxes in one pallet and we want to send 30 boxes, then we need to send in three pallets because we already know that one pallet contain 10 boxes. So if we type 30 here and click on ready to send, so here it has already calculated my units. Like I have 20 units in one box. So that means in 30 box, I will be having 600 units. And as we know that one pallet contain 
contain 10 boxes, so 30 boxes mean 3 pallets. So now after filling this information, I need to click on confirm and continue. And then here in second step, I need to choose a date of pickup, which I can just choose for Monday, which is 13. And then at this point, I am having two options. Number one is SPD and number two is LTL. So, so here SPD means small parcel delivery and LTL means less than truck load. So remember, if you want to send in form of pallets, you don't need to check on this SPD because SPD is for small shipment. So they will not send you the truck. They will not send you the pallets. They only send you the small van to pick up inventory. So if you are having less boxes and less units, you can just choose SPD. And as you can see here, SPD is cheaper, but it is for small inventory. But if your inventory is large and you want to send in terms of pallets, then you must need to select LTL because in LTL, they will send a small truck to pick up and then they can arrange the pallets in that truck. So for larger shipment, LTL is much cheaper than SPD if you're having bigger boxes and more inventory. So after clicking on LTL, go down, you can see the address of the Amazon FBA warehouse and then you can just get the estimated charges for this. So here at this point, if you want to verify the address, like how far this address is from your pickup point, you can just copy the address ORF2 and go on Google and paste that address. So here you can find the address location and then you can just measure the distance between from your pickup point to this Amazon FBA warehouse address. So now let's just go on Seller Central again and go down and click on Confirm and Shipping Destination. So now as soon as you click on this step, it will take you to the third step, which is print box label. So this is the tricky part and you need to understand this. You can see you can now print your box label and start packaging your pallets. Then it says that pallet label will be confirmed and provided in the next step. Like you can just print the box label now, but pallet labels will be available later because that calculation which you have just done, Amazon don't know that calculation. Like you know and me know that there are 10 boxes in one pallet, but Amazon don't know. So we need to tell Amazon that there are 10 boxes in one pallet. And if we are sending 30 boxes, that means we need three pallets. So here in this step, we first need to print carton labels, which is here. Click on print. So here you can see that we are having all of those carton labels. So after printing those labels and pasting those labels on carton, we need to click on this continue to carrier and pallet information. So now at this step, we need to enter the pallet information and then download the pallet labels. So as you can see here in fourth step, it says, confirm carrier and pallet information. And in step number five, it says print pallet labels. So if you click on continue here, so here we can see that Amazon partner carrier is gonna charge us $341. But if you think that this amount is too much higher and you're actually getting the lower price from your own carrier, like it can be any other carrier regardless of UPS. So you can just select this second option, which is non-partner carrier, use your own carrier. So for example, if you want to go with UPS, you can select this one and then print the pallet labels and continue. But if you want to send any other carrier truck, which you think that cheaper than this, you can just click on this non-partner carrier. And then here at this point, you need to tell Amazon that how many pallets you want to ship. So as we have already done the calculation, like we are having three pallets here. So let's put the number three here. So as soon as you click on this print button, it will print the pallet labels for you. So here you can see that on the bottom left, the pallet labels are downloaded. And when I open this file, so I can see there should be 12 labels because we are having three pallets and there are four labels for one pallet because on one pallet they will paste the same label on four sides of pallet so if four labels for one pallet that means 12 labels for three pallets so let's just confirm here yes we are having 12 labels for three pallets so right after downloading those labels you can just paste those labels on pallets or you can just give those labels to your supplier to they can paste them so right after downloading the pallet label you can just select your carrier which is like abs ups or any other and then just click on continue and ship so by doing this you'll be able to send your shipment in terms of pallets and save a lot of money if you're sending more cartons and more inventory so i know that shipping from pallets is a little different from shipping from cotton because cotton shipping is too much easy but believe me if you're sending a lot of shipments a lot of inventory to amazon then learning how to ship from pallet is super important for you because it can save a lot of money from you so if you don't understand anything in this video, you can just rewind the video and keep watching this video again and again. Or you can just ask any question regarding this topic or any other topic in the comment box below. So I can just surely answer your question. So you can just understand this and save a lot of money and do your business profitably. So that's it for today guys. I hope you really enjoyed the video and learned something great from it. So if you find my content really informative and helpful for you, then make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel as well. So you can watch more and more videos like this in future. Let's meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.